The LeDrew with Three Minute Interview. My guest today is John Tory, the mayor of the city of Toronto. And um, it's been quite the winter and spring. The city has opened up. We're in George. The patio is open. What do you see as the, your vision for the future of the city? Because everything has changed. Patios, restaurants, TTC. Um, office space and the yeah. use of office space. So first of What's all, something that's not bricks and mortar. I think we found new ways to care for each other and partnerships between the private sector, the nonprofit sector and, and uh, individual people look after the elderly using you know technology uh, food security issues using the libraries to deliver food to people in the community so i think those changes will stay permanently you mentioned nursing homes and retirement homes there's going to be a greater focus on making sure that they are oh safe. it's going to be a gigantic change there i don't know what it's going to be but whatever we know is that that system is broken right, and needs okay. to be fixed then you go on to the workplace i mean people have now proven to themselves and proven to their employers that they can work from home very effectively so why won't people continue to do that, especially people who like doing it and employers who don't mind it and the employers in turn will be able to rent less space. And so that's going to make a big difference so what to are the you office do, building What business. are you going to do is when all of the well, all owners of the office buildings come to you and say, they're we're going to get we're going to get new investors to come to Toronto, new investors in tech, new investors in uh, all kinds of businesses to fill them up. It's not a problem. There's a lot of demand for office space in Toronto. Uh, technology. Is, is going to be used everywhere uh, now. I mean, people have realized the benefit of technology. We moved at wartime speed in the city government to put in apps and systems that were never there before so you can now do things digitally. It took the pandemic to kind of wake us up to that. Yep. Uh, another thing is going to be transportation. I mean, we are putting in the largest uh, quantity of bike infrastructure in any one year period ever in the city. It's going to be there now to stay and there's going to be many more transportation options for people. So I think you could just go on and on talking about things that will change permanently because of the pandemic. And do you see those changes as being positive? Some don't. I mean, as we you know, you say, there's I can't a, think a, of a one. I can't think of one uh, that I have seen happen that isn't a positive, uh, you know, when you boil it down in terms of how we are going to care for each other and be more engaged in looking after each other, the greater use of technology and digitization to make life better and easier, uh, the working from home so it gives people a choice as what employers and employees. I think these are all positive developments because they're about choice of how to do things and where to do things and when to do things, choice in transportation. So as a civic leader, so often I know you're a student of history as well, we read through history and at times a great adversary, you have good things coming out of it. Wars, terrible things, good things come out. Are you seeing the same thing? I, I'm seeing lots of good things come out of what was a great tragedy and a great uh, difficult period. And I'm also seeing that we didn't uh, uh, fail to take advantage of the crisis by sort of doing some things that we could do because there was a crisis on and we might not have had permission to do it if there hadn't been a crisis. Just quickly, people, some people are fearful of losing their freedoms and some of their liberties to government. Concern you? Temporary thing during a time when we had to collect information to stop the spread of the virus. I think we're going to go back to being fierce defenders of civil and human rights and freedoms, and uh, we'll have all the improvements we got at the same time. John Tory, three minutes. Thanks Thank you. very much. Thank you for watching. We have many more interviews like that in production. We are going to be having the interviews that you will not see on the mainstream media. If you like it, please subscribe. The LeDrew, three minute interview.